The Gina and Maddie podcast. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I'm a bit of a linguist. Oh. <laughs> we haven't noticed, actually. <laughs> no? no, I stumble a bit, don't I? M- multilinguist? Uh, yes, that, that, that kind of linguist. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, I enjoy all languages, but one language that I was not really au fait with or haven't experienced much of is the Swedish language. Oh. And I got most of my education on the Swedish language from the Swedish chef, from the Muppets. <laughs> Oh my god, I could listen to that all day. That is so. I love the Swedish show. But funnily enough, he's actually not speaking Swedish, guys. Oh, no. I know. What? No, I know. These guys are the other only real Swedish influence that I know. So when something popped up in my algorithm on socials the other day, I was quite interested. Uh, It was uh, on the reels on Insta and it said, the ending to Sweden's Finding Nemo has left me dead, D-E-D, which is like laughing. It's just like, you know, it's young people talk for, oh my gosh, you can't believe how it ends. (laughs) So I thought, I watched it and I went, oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm going to send that straight to Loz and Jaina. Um, Can you tell us how it ends? Yeah, well, it's the end of the movie Mm -hmm. and I'm going to... Spell um, what what came up. Well, because normally at the end of the movie it comes up the end. Yes. Or if it's like an art house one, it sometimes comes up fin. Yes. Which is French for end. <laughs> well yeah, done. well, this is what came up S L U T. Slut. Let's go with slut. 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 And I was like, ah. The old sloop. <laughs> so I, I thought, well, let's let's find out exactly what it means, and it is Swedish for end. So oh. it makes complete sense that at the end of Finding Nemo, yeah. that sloot, <laughs> dirty sloot, would come up on the screen. Right? So I was like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. I don't know much about the Swedish language. So then I thought, you know what, I've done some time in some newsrooms. I'll get my uh, yeah. investigative journalist hat on and do a bit of a deep dive on mm. some other... Swedish words and how they translate to English. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so um, the word prick means dot oh, in yeah. Swedish, which I thought was great. So if you can't always get us on the radio, you can always stream us at star1045 prickcom prick au. <laughs> uh, good in Swedish is bra. And apparently very good in Swedish is no bra. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? Hey. Oh, there's no one here. Okay. Uh, and then, so there's more, though. Hold on to your hats because this is where it starts to get interesting. Oh, can we go back to Sloot for a sec? Yeah. So the final train station, the final destination of a train is called a Sloot station. <laughs> a, few of the night, a few of the nightclubs I used to hang around in my 20s as well. Uh, what about the word speed? Well, the word speed in Swedish is spelt F-A-R-T. Oh, my God. It's a very different movie with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. I feel the need. The need for... Okay. Got a couple more. Got a couple more. Kiss. Like, how good's a kiss? Like, especially, you know, someone you love, give them a bit of a kiss, right? Well, kiss in Swedish is spelt (laughs) P-U-S-S. So, come on, Dale. Give us a little puss. No! No! What's, what's that song by Faith? Is it Faith Hill? <laughs> this kiss. Well, this puss, this puss. <laughs> and what about that movie, Last Kiss? <laughs> oh, Last Puss. What about Prince? Sloot, is that, I want your extra time it's, it's and sloot, your... Sloot puss. Sloot puss. <laughs> I just want your extra time and your... Puss! Um... <laughs> Oh, my God. What, okay, oh, I've got one more. No, no, I've got one more. No. I've got one more. It's all right. This is language. This is linguistics. This is like an English He's lesson. educating people. Absolutely. Welcome to my TED Talk. It's going to be sweaty. The uh, chef. Yeah. Chef. Mm. Like, you know, in a kitchen. That's spelt in Swedish. Chef. K-O-C-K. <laughs> We can spell. <laughs> so what were the well, what were re- the good? Ch- remember, the, remember the aprons that have "kiss the chef" on yeah. them. Mm. So what's a good chef? Put those two words together. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's that? What is that TV show on Channel Ten? That cooking show. What's it called? Oh, Mastercock. <laughs> 
Gina and Maddie. Theo James. Now, he's the handsome dude that's in the show Love. that you've been watching. What's that? The gentleman. Guy Ritchie's the gentleman on so Netflix. So good. Mm. So good. He told a story uh, on a podcast he was doing. It's uh, called Two Truths and a Lie. Yeah. And uh, he told a truth about when he was younger, much younger in his university days, he'd been out on this first date. Mm. And this is where we're going with it. First date disaster stories. Yeah. They, you know, hooked up. Stayed over the night, had some fun. He got up in the morning. She'd already left. Went to go into the bathroom and found a little, um, little present that she'd left in the bathtub of all places. Uh, a little, uh, a little poop. A little Are poop. you she's, kidding? She's just done a little poop in the bathtub. Why? Oh, I don't know. Was it Amber, was it Amber Heard? I don't know if that was her or not. But why would you? Why do would you? That? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Was well, they were they super pissed when they got home? That's the thing. It's like, oh, this is a big toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big toilet. He's left the seat up for me. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. Barbara's in Woi Woi. Hi, Barbara. Oh, morning, guys. Morning. morning. What do you got for us? Well, my first date, I was 17. I was an apprentice hairdresser. We went to, I got invited to go see a movie at the drive-in back in the day. Drive-ins were all the rage. Love that. We went to the drive-in and he parked on the outside of the fence up on a little bit of a hill. <laughs> and I said, what are we doing? Aren't we going in? And he said, no, if we'd be real quiet, we could hear the movie from here and then we don't have to pay for it. I said, oh, my God, right. So we sat there quietly, and then he said, oh, you didn't have any money on you, would you? I might be able to make my way into the shop and I could get us a milkshake. No. So I said, oh, okay. So I gave him the money, and he came back with one milkshake, and he drank the whole lot himself. (laughs) (laughs) I I didn't get offered a sip of it. And, And how long have you been married for, Barbara? I'm not married anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and also on the socials, at Gina and Maddie on Insta and Facebook, uh, Fiona says, yes, my blind date said he was going to the shop to buy cigarettes and he didn't return. Oh, oh yes, the so ultimate mean. ghosting. Left in a puff of smoke. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I've, had a, I've had a few shockers. Um, Shocking. Because you, you try, you try yeah. really hard, though. I'm a try hard. Yeah. yeah. But this, 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 wasn't, uh, this wasn't me. I remember going and see with a girl, first time on the date, uh, Ed TV, which is a movie that had Matthew McConaughey, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, I think Jenna Elfman, who was in like, Dharma and Greg. Do you remember Dharma yeah. and Greg? Yeah. I used to love that show. Uh, so we're going to see that, and uh, I, was, I was a little nervous, right? You go on the first date, you know, and, and throughout the entire movie, all she tried to do was put her finger in my belly button. What? Yeah. <laughs> that's I, funny. It's so weird. Well, does, she think, does she Ew. think that's a funny thing to do? I, no, it was, I don't know if it was funny or if it was a little bit suggestive or I don't know, but I don't she, like putting my own no, finger in my belly button. I don't button. like belly buttons. And, and that area, is like it's a little soft in the middle. Maybe you know, she was bit... getting a bit mixed up with what section was what section. I, I've never heard of anyone slipping a pinky into a belly button. That is disgusting. <laughs> I, I don't oh, like And she just constantly. And I was just like, ah, pushing her hand. <laughs> pushing the, and she just kept going back and just fingering the belly button. I was like, what are you? <laughs> and so... That was the last time I ever saw Tammy. And for starters, her name was really rubbed on me a little bit too. Anyway, apologies to all the Tammies out there. Uh, on socials, on Insta, you've got one, Loz. Yeah, from oh. Kat. So she said, yep, I went on a date to the movies, looked over to my date, only to see him spitting in his hand, rolled up pieces of napkin. I was shocked and asked him, what are you doing? As he started to put them in his ears, he replied, the sound is too loud for me in the movies. I didn't know if I should run them, but sat there next to him for the whole movie. I think I looked at his ears more than the movie. (laughs) He kept on trying to hold my hand and I wouldn't let him because all I could think about was him spitting in his hand. And as soon as the movie finished, I ran and got my sister to pick me up as he took, as he's the one who took me there. To make it even worse, I worked with him. Oh, (laughs) no. If you know movies are going to be loud, just wear some earplugs or or something. Don't go to the movies. Spitting tissue. Oh, my God. Gina and Maddie. We're going to play a little game here. Uh, We did it last week and I must have researched well because it's Mm. back. Uh, Siri Oki, uh, this is where I ask Siri to um, just read out some song mm. lyrics. I love this. It I was love so this fun. game. I think uh, it came down to a tiebreaker last week between the two of you, and I think Loz picked it up because the last uh, last one was worth like 4,000 points, yeah. and you won on that one. So, By landslide, some would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, very simple. These are all very big songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, some are uh, more in your wheelhouse than they are the Princess from Patonga and the mm-hmm. vice versa. So okay. uh, I'm just going to get Siri to fire up her vocal cords. And, and do we have to say um, I, our look, name as a buzzer? Because that always gets me. Yeah, T's and 
C's apply. Yes. So buzz in with your name. Okay. Uh, you can play along in the car as well. Uh, <laughs> buzz look, in with I, your name in the car yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, play with the person you're sitting in the car with. <laughs> and then, look, I'll take either just the song or the artist, okay. right? I, oh, okay. I don't need both. I don't okay. want to complicate it and okay. have fights between you two again this morning. <laughs> Jesus. Again. Okay. Oh, no. Here we go. All right, song number one, Siri, please. So no one told you life was going to be this way. Your job's Loz. a joke. Um, the Remembrance. Life, I'll be there for you. The Remembrance. I'll be there for you. I'll take that as the theme <laughs> from Friends. Oh! Okay. Yeah. What's it called? Remembrance. The Remembrance. Oh. I like mine better. I said remembrance. Remem- <laughs> the remembrance. Uh, okay. Uh, song number two, please, Siri. We're no strangers to love. Luz. You know the rules and oh, so do oh, I. Wow. A full commitment is what get- I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Loz? Never going to give you up, Rick Astley. It is indeed. <laughs> Rick Rolcher. Oh, wow, you did Rick Rolcher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I wasn't going to get that. All right. So that's you can have that. Here we go, Gina. Loz, ready? Here we go. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Oh, Gina. Out on the street, the traffic starts jumping. Gina? Dolly Parton, 9 to 5. Okay, we've got a game. We've got a game. All right. Oh. All right. Okay, let's go with this one. If I should stay, I would only be in your way. Loz, so I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of the way. Loza? I will always love you. Bye. Oh, you careful. said that it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, 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 careful did. who you say. Who wrote this? Dolly Parton yes. wrote it. Yeah, it's <laughs> we got a winner, but you know what? I got I went to all the effort of rolling a lot of these songs in, so let's just keep going. No, we'll just keep going. We've got time. What do we okay. got? 26? Yeah, I'm not wasting all that time this morning <laughs> to not play all of them. Uh, let's go with this one. All right, play along. Here we go. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble Loz. so you don't confuse them with mountains. One more time for Gina. What? <laughs> Gina didn't quite hear it because you were screaming your Sorry. name. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble so you don't confuse them with mountains. Go on, Loz. Shakira. <laughs> Just something he saw. Was, he sent a text. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any boyfriend? <laughs> she hasn't got any boyfriend, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> People now, now they'll know why she is leaving. It has nothing to do with me. All right, here we go. Uh, another one. I like this one. Here we go. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's Loz. spaghetti. Eminem. Okay. Uh, what about this one? What about this? Sorry. Bloody microphone. Off. I know. Just turn it off. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Gina. <laughs> yeah. Katy Perry. Hey! Oh, it's good. What? It's funny hearing Siri say it though. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No, uh, occasionally. <laughs> uh, and last one. Let's go, Siri. Take us out. And so I wake in the morning and I step outside Gina. and I take a deep breath and I get real high Mom. and I scream from the top of my lungs. What's oh, going on? Oh. I already said Gina. Yeah, Gina. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not in our day. I'll play that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? The Gina and Maddie podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.